it only works if you put in a nickel. It rejects anything smaller than a nickel, such as a penny or a dime. So if I try to put in a penny, oops, it just simply won't work. It'll just pop right back out. And the button doesn't work. And this is a button that gives you candy. Uh, it doesn't work without a nickel, so I'm going to put in a nickel. It keeps it. I push this. It delivers a gumball. And it resets. It doesn't work. So I put in another nickel. You get another gumball. So that's pretty much how it works. So here's the inside of it. Here's the hopper where you reload your gumballs. I'm just going to put those in one by one. And this is the button right here. This is a touch sensor, they call it, but all it is is a button. If I push it, there's no, there's no candy. But uh, if I put in a nickel, it'll work. So you can see, here's how the coin rejection works. And if I put in the nickel, it slides right over the slot. And it gives you a gumball. This sensor is a light sensor. It sees the reflected light the nickel gives off. And that's what allows this thing, this is the intelligent brick, they call it. It's basically the brains of this whole thing. You could program it to do whatever you want, which I could show you that later. This is the motor that turns that gear, which turns this. I could just uh, empty it out really quick. I'm the owner of this machine, so I could do whatever I want with it. So here's how this works. It pushes one out and then reloads one. That's how this works. That's essentially all it is. Coins collected there. I could show you how to get them out. There's this hidden thing on the side, which isn't really so hidden, but I'm, you, you try to grab it, you can't get it, so I use a special key, which is just this connector peg, to insert it in there, and pull it out, and there's your profits. So yeah, that's practically it.